to Ukraine now, where authorities say a Russian attack on a school in Romney in the northeast killed two staffers and wounded three other people. Ukraine also blamed Russia for a drone attack on grain stores near ports in Odessa. Now, this comes after a building in central Moscow was damaged in a wave of drone attacks overnight. The Russian capital has been targeted for the sixth night in a row, forcing the closure of Moscow's airport. Russia's defence ministry said it shot down two drones and disabled a third electronically. The Kremlin is blaming Ukraine for the attacks. And for more on this, we can speak to military analyst Marina Miron from King's College London. She's joining us today from Munich. Hi, Marina. Now, Moscow has been the target of drone attacks for a sixth night in a row, as we just heard there. If we presume that Ukraine is behind this, as Russia is saying, what might the strategy be here? Good day. Um, well, we have seen those attacks uh, with less frequency starting in May, and those attacks don't really have any military significance per se, um, because they are largely attacking symbolic targets. So the effect here is supposed to be psychological. Um, also because the counteroffensive is not going as planned, um, stirring the attention away from the battlefield and taking the war to Russia, to Russia's homeland, specifically to Moscow, is, is the kind of idea to inculcate fear, to show that um, President Putin doesn't have the power to protect his citizens within his territorial jurisdiction. However, that being said, the effect of the attacks uh, might have also um, an opposite effect in that it strengthens Putin's narrative about Ukraine conducting essentially terrorist attacks and um, giving him more reasons to um, mobilize people and to mobilize support for his war effort in Ukraine. So it's a double-edged sword for Ukraine when, when, if Ukraine is indeed behind such attacks. Mm -hmm. The German foreign minister yesterday defended these drone attacks. Um, I'll come back to you in a second, Marina, because we're just going to play a short clip from Annalena Baerbock. Russia is violating the UN Charter's ban on the use of violence. Russia is bombing civilian targets in Ukraine incessantly. Grain silos, hospitals, churches. And Ukraine is defending itself within the boundaries of international law. We have made that clear time and time again. So Annalena Baerbock, Germany's foreign minister, saying there that these attacks are covered by international law. That's the case, is it? Well, the problem is that Russia hasn't declared war, so there is no war in a legal sense, uh, despite what we're seeing happening in Ukraine. Now, the other problem is um, the conduct of war from a kind of a military ethical perspective. If your adversary does something that is strictly prohibited, it doesn't necessarily give you the right to respond in kind. And by doing that, Ukraine would be losing the moral high ground by, by attacking. We all understand the reasoning behind those attacks, if Ukraine is behind those attacks. However, given this perspective, looking strictly from the military ethical perspective and from the um, humanitarian, international humanitarian law, it does not um, give any parties a right to respond in kind and to violate the law. Meanwhile, Ukraine is saying that Russia attacked this school in, in, in northeastern Ukraine, killing two people. A, a school clearly is not a military target. Has Russia given some kind of reason for targeting this particular area? Well, right now, what, what we have are Ukrainian reports um, about the attack on the school. And obviously, the Russian side, as one would expect, is denying targeting the school. So there are two possibilities. Either the attack was intentional or it was not intentional. If it was intentional, it certainly does. It, Russia has the same problem as Ukraine by targeting civilian targets. It undermines the, the support for the war because Russian citizens will be seeing those news as well on the one hand. On the other hand, it strengthens the Ukrainian resolve to expel Russian forces from the occupied territories. So it's not favoring Russia in any way. It's not a military target. 
if that attack was not intentional and we know that Russia might have used, I don't know how many, because we don't have more information, the Iranian made Shahid drones, um, that might not be as accurate. So there is a possibility that they were not aiming for the school. However, we need to wait and see how the situation unfolds and whether the, the, the reports can be confirmed by Western sources. Marina Moran from King's College London, thanks as ever for your analysis and your time. Thank you for having me.